Hi everyone, welcome along. I'm Bree, and today we're taking part in the 2022 Ugly Duckling Challenge Winter Edition, which is hosted by Corey at Desert DIY. Um, you'll find her link down in the comments section, along with the link to the whole list of people who are taking part in the challenge. Basically what we have to do is take an ugly piece of furniture and make it beautiful. Now the piece I've chosen is this one. It's, it is ugly, but it started, I'm pretty sure it started off as a beautiful swan because it really is a nice piece of furniture. It's just been allowed to go to pot. So, you know, we'll do a bit of fixing, a bit of changing, a bit of painting and make her beautiful again. So let's get started. For an arachnophobe like me, the number of spiderwebs in here was far too many. So the first thing we did was went over it with the vacuum to make sure we got rid of those and any associated creepy crawlies. I don't want to see any of those guys at all. It's all had a wash now. Here's the colour of our water. This girl's doing. We found that the original piece had previously been painted several times, once in green, once in yellow and once in adorable mission brown. To remove the shelf from the inside we had to remove one of the supports. Um, it was a shelf that had clearly been added on afterwards anyway. It was a um, just a piece of plywood. so happy to get rid of that and have to do something about this pink. Oh, it's really grubby in there. I also had to work out how to get rid of this top bit. Um, it was pretty difficult to get at the screws that were holding it all together. In the end, this was leaning on my head while I was removing the screws. Which is not ideal, but we work with what we've got, right? If you're enjoying my content, feel free to buy me a coffee or check out my Amazon wish list. The links for both of those are down in the comments. Stripping the existing varnish and, sh and stain off was by far my favorite part of this entire process. This was a really hot and windy and humid day in Queensland. So I went ahead and poured a bucket load of uh, stripper on it and it started reacting almost straight away, which was awesome. I don't think I left it more than five minutes in between um, putting it on and stripping it off. started actually stripping it away it came off like egg rolls I've seen you know gooey bits of stripper and all kinds of things I don't think I've ever seen egg rolls before but this was very much like you know what you get from the Chinese they fling the egg on the on the plate and then and then just kind of scrape it up and roll it up that's what it was like it didn't smell like egg rolls
sanding process took ages, but um, no, it went, came up really beautiful. So I'm starting off with a 120 on my Ozito random orbital sander, give it a little pat, and then set it set to work. It was a beautiful piece of timber underneath all of this. I don't know exactly what type of timber it was. I thought it was pine to begin with, but it's just not. It's something or other else. So if you've got any idea what type of timber this might be, um, let me know. It's that kind of beautiful kind of mid-brown colour. Let me know what you think. Then, disaster. Fear not, we found another battery for the Ozito and uh, went back to work getting the rest of this surface cleared. stain and varnish in the colour of walnut for the top of this. I found it very difficult to apply it. It may have been because the weather was so hot and the timber was so dry, but it just didn't go very far when I was applying it. It just seemed to soak straight into the, the timber. Um, so I ended up pouring bucket loads of it on the surface of this thing and just going for it. Um, I ended up putting two layers, two coats of the, uh, the stain on and the colour came up absolutely beautiful. Um, in the video it looks quite similar to the existing colour of the legs but it was actually quite a bit more uh, brown rather than red. It was gorgeous. And finally it was time for painting. This is Malta Blue from the Julux Chalk range and the colour is just divine. I love it and I've still got half a tin so I think there is definitely something in my household that will be Malta Blue before too long. on really well. Um, I didn't expect it to because Dualux isn't exactly a high-end brand. Uh, it's pretty much your garden variety here in Australia but um, you know the coverage was, was really good. I was, I was really surprised. 
we ended up putting on two coats and also adding a little bit of gold detail into a few places which um, I forgot to record so you'll just have to see what that looks like in the end. painting the front panel I just felt like it needed something it didn't want decoupage or anything like that but it needed something and I thought just a simple geometric would look really nice with it so that's what I ended up doing just took my um, gold paint pen and drew on this geometric design Dixie Bell Big Mama's Butter in uh, Orange Grove, which smells fantastic. Um, it's very runny, though, in Australian conditions. So I would suggest if you're in somewhere like that to keep it in the fridge. So the last thing we did was to put the handle back on. And just a reminder of what we had beforehand, before the big reveal. Thanks so much for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed the video today, feel free to give it a dirty big thumbs up. Um, also, subscribe to my channel and click on the alert so that I can let you know when I post new videos. And with that, we'll uh, see you next time.